The texts that you choose for students to read are important. Professor Slater talked about authentic versus simplified texts. She said that each of those have specific purposes for reading instruction. She also talked about the content of the texts. It matters what the texts are about because an important aspect of reading is students being interested in what they are reading. Professor Slater also talked about authentic versus simplified texts. Authentic texts contain language that may be too difficult for learners. That's the language that was used by the original author of the text, intended for very proficient speakers of English. Simplified texts, in contrast, contain the same basic ideas, but the language is simpler. Such texts are often created for learners so that they can have access to the same meaning without having to understand the difficult texts. For example, we looked at The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn that's available on the American English website. This is an example of a simplified text, a text that the authors have rewritten in a way that would make it easier to read for students. The simplified text has all the look and the characteristics of the authentic text. It looks like a book that anyone would pick up and read, but in fact, the authors have worked hard to make the text much simpler. The same text, in its authentic or original form, is much more difficult for students to read because of the language. For example, the first chapter starts like this. You don't know about me without you have read a book by the name of The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, but that ain't no matter. That book was made by Mr. Mark Twain, and he told the truth mainly. There was things which he stretched, but mainly he told the truth. That is nothing. I never seen nobody but lied one time or another. Without it was Aunt Polly or the widow, or maybe Mary. Aunt Polly, Tom's Aunt Polly, she is, and Mary and the widow Douglas is all told about in that book, which is mostly a true book with some stretches, as I said before. In this writing, there's a number of characteristics of the language that is authentic to the time and to the dialect of the characters in the story but it is also somewhat difficult to understand. We can take a look at some of the characteristics of the language just by putting the authentic text side by side with the simple text. The first sentence, you don't know about me without you have read a book by the name of The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, is simplified to you don't know me unless you have read a book by the name of The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. The change makes the sentence a more standard English by using unless instead of without in that position in the sentence. In the simplified version, the second part of the sentence after the semicolon, but that ain't no matter, is also simply deleted. That part of the sentence also contains non-standard use of ain't, and so the simplified text has the appearance of a shorter, simpler, or straightforward sentence. That's one of the characteristics of simplified texts. Simplified texts have simpler syntax. They have shorter sentences, and they use more standard English. This allows students to be able to read the story without being frustrated by the difficult language. I found the original version of The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn on the website for Project Gutenberg, which has a collection of original texts of many, many authors and many, many books that are available for free as ebooks. That's worth taking a look at. 
Professor Slater also emphasized the importance of the content of the text that we choose for students to read. 